Stages of sleep and some activities that take place during these stages. Sleep is a natural brain state that reoccurs daily, during which our awareness and responsiveness to sights and sounds from the environment fades away. Sleep is different from general anesthesia, which includes a complete loss of awareness when administered correctly. Sleep is punctured with regular periods of conscious awareness known as rapid eye movement. In today's video, I will first explain the different stages of sleep. Then I will further specify some of the activities that take place during these stages. If you're new to our channel, consider subscribing, share our videos, click on the notification button, that bell icon so when I create new videos and they release them, you will be notified. And of course, don't hesitate to comment. Stages of Sleep Sleep can be divided into two broad stages. Non-rapid eye movement, which is known as NREM, and rapid eye movement, which was the previous one we discussed, which is REM. The vast majority of our sleep, around 75 to 80 percent, is NREM, that is the non-rapid eye movement type of sleep. Electrical structures characterize this stage in the brain known as sleep spindles, known as sleep spindles, and high slow delta waves. This is the time we sleep the deepest. Every individual begins the night in non-REM sleep and spends most of their time there. Sleep starts basically with drowsiness, then proceeds into light sleep in the N1 stage, and then moves to deep and three stage. During this succession, your brain becomes less responsive to the outside world and it gets harder to wake up. Your thoughts and most body functions slow down and you spend half a regular night's sleep in the N2 phase when scientists think you file away long-term memories. During the night, you cycle through five separate stages of sleep every 90 to 110 minutes experiencing between three and five dream periods each night. The five stages of sleep can be differentiated by changes in the electrical activity in the brain measured by electroencephalogram EEG. The first stage begins with drowsiness as you drift in and out of consciousness and is followed by light sleep and then by two stages of deep sleep N2 and N3. Finally, your brain perks up again, resuming activity that looks more like wakefulness and you enter rapid eye movement, known as REM, the period in which most of your vivid dreams occur. This cycle happens several times throughout the night and each time the period of REM sleep grows longer. Now, I'm going to talk about some activities that take place during these stages. Number 1. Dreams Though many scientists and even religionists have talked about dreams for thousands of years, they are still a mystery in many, many ways. It is still not clear what causes them, but they are a vital part to our sleep. Dreams are most common during REM, especially when they are very visual. But you can dream in other sleep stages as well. However, nightmares, when people appear to be awake and crowd in fear of panic, happens in deeper states of sleep. Number 2. Your body makes more of some hormones while you're asleep and lowers others. For instance, when you sleep, levels of growth hormones go up and cortisol, which is tied to stress, goes down. Also, a lack of sleep can mess with degrees of the hormones that control hunger, leptin and ghrelin. And that can change how much you eat and make you gain weight. Antidiuretic hormone ADH helps you not to have to pee. 
helps you not have to pee. Have you ever wondered why you have to go to the toilet to pee every couple of hours during the day but can sleep an entire 8 hours or more without heading to the loo? That is thanks to ADH, an antidiuretic hormone released by the brain on the circadian rhythm, which turns up the need to urinate so often at night. Usually, the amount of ADH in the body is higher during the night, but if the levels of ADH remain low during the night, the body will likely produce large amounts of urine, so urination during the night is also likely. Number 4. Your sympathetic nervous system relaxes. Your sympathetic nervous system relaxes. During sleep, your sympathetic nervous system, which controls your fight or flight response, gets a chance to unwind. Studies have shown that when an individual is deprived of sleep, sympathetic nervous system activities increases, which is also mirrored by the rise in blood pressure. Scientists studying coronary disease are investigating whether or not there is a relationship between decreased sleep duration and increased risk of heart disease. Thank you for watching our video. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And as usual, please do feel free to comment. We look forward to it. To read more related articles, click on the link in the description box. Or you could simply go through our portfolio of videos and select one to watch. And with that, I bid you goodbye.